<laughs> All right, yeah. So we're off on a down the mine shaft speed run, seeing how far we can get in seven minutes. I've set a timer on one watch. Just waiting for this juicy gust to really get us dialing it down there. That's right, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV, back in Vasiliki Bay on Hobie 16, number five. Okay, just need a bit more juice out of this gust and we will be off. So the aim of the game here is to see what sort of distance we can cover down the mine shaft in seven minutes. And oh yes, that gust did not disappoint. All right, we've got a slow tacking 16 just ahead. So I'll just have to avoid that. Just trying to crank as much main sheet in as possible. We've already gone over 20 knots, which is nice. But that might have been on the way out to the start line, to be honest. Okay, next big gust coming. Might, you know. Here we go. Here she comes. It's the big one. All right, so sheeting out a bit, bearing away, getting as far back as possible. This is as much as anything. It's going to be a test of my back leg. So I'm really sitting on the back leg there to get the weight back as far as possible. Just one line, working the main sheet in and out until the watch says you've had enough. Okay, next big gust coming up. So I'd say at the moment it's only gusting about 18 knots on the Hobie 16. I'm weighing in it, weighing in at about 90 kilos these days. All right, next gust just coming. I might come up a little bit, sacrifice a bit of direction for a bit more power. This next gust looks juicy. Yes, she's got teeth. She's got tattoos. Straight out of prison, this one. Could have us in. Let's see how we go. Get as much main sheet in as possible in preparation. A little bit of rubber, rudder cavitation there, would you believe? Come on. Don't do that to us. All right, we've just got through that cavitation and we're trucking. Just trying to connect the dots between these gusts. So that one's eased off a bit. So I'm just gonna come up a bit for the next one. Here we go. Boom. All right, not the biggest speeds we've ever had. Going for both feet at the back, see if that's a bit more comfortable. Certainly getting the weight back a bit more. All right, now she's opening up for us a bit. Oh, should have let a bit more rig tension off before starting. We've just gone past the halfway point. Hopefully the uh, telemetry is saying some good information. Just trying to get as much main sheet in as possible. So next gust comes along. Woo! Really arcing it off the back of the boat here. That has expected. The back leg is starting to burn a little bit now. Oh, there is some burn there. It's definitely leg day on the 16. Clipping along gaily here. Wind's getting a bit more consistent as we get a bit further out. Two minutes left on the clock. Seven minutes of fury. Crikey. This is nuts. Big gust here. Okay. Another gust coming down. Nice big one. Triple 
appeasing a lot further back than I would do normally. That is provided by this lovely rubber grip. Good amount of traction there with the rubber. Sheeting in whenever I can, because that helps us to control the mainsail and gives us a bit more option when the next gust comes. Just over a minute left on this down the mine shaft speed run. Here we go. This feels good. Just uh, keeping an eye on everything to make sure I don't get caught out by not in the main sheet or something. 40 seconds left. Okay, the telemetry is being supplied by telemetry overlay, of course. If you want to get telemetry overlay, it's the best bit of software you can get for putting the gauges on your videos. If you use the code below, you get 20% off or something like that. And I get a little bit of commission, which is always nice. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And there it is. Speed run completed. Thank you very much.